Hello once again. I want to take this chance and continue thanking all these people who are using uh, this channel to do their studies at home. Uh, remember, we are doing this so that we want uh, the pupils to remain at home, especially during this time when they are supposed to be doing their studies at home due to the outbreak that is going on on coronavirus. Now, this is a student who followed my first clip that I discussed concerning reading and interpreting information from a graph. And the students came up with another question that was tested in the KCP for the year 2015, and it was question number 45. Now, remember what we discussed in the previous video? Uh, we reminded ourselves on what is a graph. We also talked about what are the various types of graphs or the various examples of uh, graphs? We also discussed about the scale. We were able to determine the scale of a graph. We were also able to identify the, uh, the axis. We talked about the vertical axis and the horizontal axis. We also talked about so, so many other things concerning a travel graph. Like, for example, we said that in one given time you find a line which is straight, moving horizontally, no movement is being made here. Therefore, I would, uh, use, I would like to use the shortest time possible to answer this question. For the sake of that person who will really ask that question, plus any other person who may be having the same issue. Now, to begin, uh, before we answer this question, or before we look at it, let us first of all go through the question. The question states that the graph below shows journey of Musa and Sela. Musa traveled from point P to Q, while Sela traveled from Q to P. Down here we've got a question. What was the difference in their average speeds? So you'll find that this type of a graph here, it represents movement of two people moving in opposite direction. We have Musa who is traveling from point P all the way to point Q. We have Salah who moved from point Q to point P. These two people, as they were traveling, they met somewhere here. Where the two graphs are crossing, that is where these two people met. And it is important, uh, important to mention that because a question can be brought and then you are asked at what time did these two people meet. Okay, fine. Now, uh, if we may go back to the scale of this graph, you'll find that from point P, I'm, con uh, I'm referring to the vertical axis that represent distance covered in kilometers. From point P to 50, from this interval to that interval, we have 10 small squares. 10 small squares which represent 50 kilometers. So, if we want to know the distance covered by one small square, we just take 50, we divide by 10 to get five kilometers. Why have we done this? Because if you move up here, you will find that um, Sela actually started her journey somewhere above that bold line and therefore it is not exactly 275 kilometers because from 250 we add 25 here to get to 75, but we still have to add 5 kilometers here to get 280, and that is the distance between Q and P. That is 280. Check properly. And it is the same, same point where uh, Musa added his journey at the same, same point. So, the distance between Q and P is 280 kilometers. Very important to note that. And if we, may, if we may come to the horizontal axis, again, you'll find that uh, between one interval and the other one, that is one hour. That is one hour. And therefore, for every one big square there, it would represent half of an hour or 30 minutes. So, let us begin. Now, remind ourselves once again that speed is distance covered over time taken. Distance covered over time taken. And this is what we had discussed some times back. And we want to look at the speed for Musa. 
that is a graph representing the movement for Musa and you may you will find that um, Musa started his journey at 7 a.m. and ended his journey somewhere around 11 a.m. that is when this person ended the journey so the distance covered by Musa is 280 as we have already seen and the time taken we are going to count the time taken for Musa together because this person started the journey at 7 a.m. and ended at 11 a.m. that interval between 7 and 11 is about um, four hours if we may count that is one two three four those are four hours therefore uh, the time taken is four hours therefore the speed for Musa will be distance which is 280 over the time taken which is four hours now we can divide four before we get one and 280 divided by four you can get 70 and therefore the speed for musa is 70 kilometers per hour 70 kilometers per hour now before we look at this the speed for seller go back to the question what was the difference in the average speed they were traveling at different speeds and therefore the difference here will require you to do subtraction the one who is moving faster and the one who is moving uh, slowly so let us analyze the speed for Sarah already we have already seen that um, the distance from Q to P is 280 kilometers so let us see or rather, or rather let us um, uh, count the time taken for Sarah to move from Q to P now Sarah started her journey at exactly 8 and she added or rather the, the journey added at 12 not exactly 12 actually it is at 11.30 because 12 is uh, 11 that is between 11 and 12 so that is when this girl actually uh, added his journey and so what will, what was her time taken so let us begin by counting from 8 to 9 that is 1 hour 2 3 and a half therefore Sarah spent 3 and a half hours that is 3.5 hours to travel from point Q to point P therefore her speed will be you take the distance that is 280 we divide by 3.5 and it, sometimes it is not good to work with these decimal numbers you can multiply this one by 10 we are actually trying to eliminate this decimal point multiply here by 10 up there multiply by 10 below you'll get 35 and on top now you'll have 2800 once you multiply to 80 by 10 remember we have done that to do away with that decimal point to make this 3.5 a whole number so now we are dividing 2800 we are dividing by 35 and it is possible to divide that 5 by 35 we get 1 2800 you can divide this one by 35 so that you get 80 so the speed for seller is 80 kilometers per hour compare these two speeds Sarah is actually moving faster than Musa and so to get the difference in their speed you should take the speed for seller you subtract the speed for Musa and therefore the difference in their speed will be 80 you minus 70 to get 10 kilometers per hour to be the difference in their speed and so going back to the choices the answer is very much available so the person who have asked that question it is good to continue doing more and more practice follow what we have done here follow what we did previously and i'm sure you'll be able to do problems involving travel graphs goodbye